was asked a thousand questions about England, which he answered as best he could, inventing a thousand stories. He described the king and the ministers, boasted that the British ambassador in Berlin was his uncle, and even offered Captain Potsdorf a letter of introduction. His host seemed quite satisfied with these stories, but at the same time, he led Barry on with a skillful combination of questions and flattery. You will have to pardon me. I know so little about your country of England, except that you are the bravest nation in the world and that we are really fortunate to have such allies. Lieutenant Fakenham, let us drink to the friendship of our two great nations. To our two great nations. Aren't you lucky? Going to Bremen tomorrow. I know one of the loveliest women in Europe there. May I ask you to take a letter to her? Certainly. By the way, to whom are you carrying your dispatches? General Williamson. General Williamson? Yes. General. Percival Williams. Yes, the same. Sergeant. Dieser Mann ist unter Arrest. Under arrest? Captain Potsdorf, sir. I'm a British officer. You are a liar. You're an imposter. You are a deserter. I suspected you this morning, and your lies and folly have confirmed this to me. You pretend to carry dispatches to a general who has been dead these 10 months. You say your uncle is the British ambassador in Berlin with the ridiculous name of O'Grady. Now, will you join and take the bounty, sir, or will you be given up? I volunteer. The Prussian service was considerably worse than the English. The life that the private soldier led was a frightful one. Punishment was incessant, and every officer had the right to inflict it. The gauntlet was the most common penalty for minor offenses. The more serious ones were punishable by mutilation or death. At the close of the Seven Years' War, 